Hey guys, how's it going? Today a uh, bit reduced quality with the light and with the camera, sorry for that, but my wife and me felt sick after our second shot of BioNTech and we are not quite well again, so I'm doing this all alone <laughs> in a break. So sorry for that. Anyways, uh, I wanted to tell you uh, the answer to a question you sent me. How far is your optimization for the transfer to performance? And I will give you a short insight into that in today's two minutes. Here we go. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, actually, uh, I did some measurements in an older video um, about uh, how fast is uh, the different versions to copy files uh, in the different JDKs. And I noticed that there is one variant which is very convenient, which is input stream transfer 2. And it's really, really nice. You write just one line to copy the complete content of one stream into another stream. And uh, this compares rather slow to all the other versions to copy uh, bytes from one stream to another stream. And I wondered why that is, because uh, the JDK should be able to optimize this internally. So uh, in another video, I uh, gave an insight into the actual OpenJDK code and I noticed, no, it does not optimize anything. It actually just copies rather small byte blocks. And this apparently is the, s the slowest way that you actually can do to copy uh, data from one stream to a different one. So I wrote a short proposal to the OpenJDK team, how this can be optimized. Uh, for example, by using NIO and file channels and they agreed that this is a good idea and I worked with them in the past weeks to provide an actual implementation and um, today the status is that we have very good numbers. Uh, we actually have double performance, um, which means we're about here somewhere in the area of the optimized variants and uh, we have just a few side edges that we have to fix. This actually is the source code, how it looks uh, as of today. And you can see the optimization works like this. We are checking whether we are actually using channels under the hood. And if we are using channels under the hood, then we check what kind of channel that is. Because for example, a file channel uh, can be used to directly copy files into another file channel on behalf of the operating system. And there are such tricks for a lot of other types of channels. And what's the benefit? The benefit is that the bytes don't go through the virtual machine. Um, the operating system is moving the bytes directly on the level of the file system and you spare a lot of transfers through the virtual machine. So we do that for file channels, we do that for, uh, for example, seekable byte channels. And uh, here are four optimizations uh, in some that we are doing. And if you're interested in how they work, I will publish all the code when I'm done, certainly, so you can have all the code and learn from that. So just for an example, uh, if we're copying from a seekable byte channel to a file channel, then uh, we can use the meta transfer from in the class file channel and uh, this will offload to the operating system for example and there are similar methods for the other channel types and if there is no other way we fall back to copying actually byte buffers which is faster than uh, copying byte arrays because the byte buffer still is not moved into the virtual machine memory, it's still kept in the operating system memory. And if even that will not work, then we fall back to transferring the original bytes. Uh, and even transferring the original bytes can be optimized in our code a bit. Uh, we will go into the details in a separate video when I'm really healthy again and when the code is really completely done. And what we're working on currently actually is this part. Um, channels can be blocking or they can be non-blocking and you can switch this behavior while they are in use. And the problem is when I have a blocking channel 
and I start a transfer from that channel or into that channel and a different thread is changing the mode from blocking to non-blocking, then the transfer will always return zero. It, it will go in a loop. You, so you have an infinitive loop. You have to check this situation. And this is what we're working uh, together uh, with Alan Bateman from the OpenJDK team to make it really safe in all the side cases that can happen, which means what happens if the file channel is truncated from a parallel thread? What happens if the input stream is switched from blocking to non-blocking? Uh, what happens if the output stream is switched from blocking to non-blocking? What happens if both happens? And so on and so on. So uh, you can imagine that the core code, which you can find here, will be kept the same, but there will be a lot of stuff around that to really make it rock solid because this is not just an application where I can fix any bugs uh, intraday. Um, this is really the OpenJDK itself. So uh, it, it must be rock solid so that millions of applications won't fail because we are changing the behavior of a real core part of the JDK, which is copying bytes from stream to stream and millions of applications will fail if you're doing that wrong. So to sum up, I have already doubled the performance and I think we can keep that level of performance improvement when it comes to the original merge into JDK and I hope it will be happen for JDK 18 already. That would be really great if we can match uh, that time frame but I will need some more weeks to fix all the side case to make it really rock solid that your application will have the benefit and won't have any additional fail situation. It must be really rock solid and that takes a lot of time to think over the cases and the combination of cases. So far for today, I hope you don't mind the bad lighting, the bad camera. As I said, we're still sick. Sorry for that. Uh, the light already went out. <laughs> and uh, I will be back soon with a video that goes into the actual details of this project. And you see all the final code and I will explain how it works and how the performance and you will see the measurement and all that. Stay tuned for that and uh, I'm sorry if this video was not so great as all the others. Stay safe and as always, party on!